day two of using water bottle as a microphone until I get a microphone. So it's been what, like two years since Kanye dropped his last new project, Donda in 2021. And he recently released a new lead off single from his upcoming potential collab album with Ty Dolla Sign titled Vultures, uh, featuring Lil Durk and Bump J. And I'm not gonna lie, the very first time I heard the song, uh, I said to myself, this might really be the first bad county album if more of the songs sound similar to it now i'm more so on the fence about it i'm more so worried about what it's going to you know be talking about on the album and of course he just had to make that one line about a jewish person in the song so i'm a little bit worried about that of course too <laughs> uh so yeah i'm a little worried because i don't want it to be just about nothing and involve a lot of politics in it as well but at the same time i feel like i shouldn't expect more of kanye because he's most likely not as hungry and, um, you know, driven as he was in the past as an artist before. And he doesn't have anything more to gain, I feel like, at this point in his life. He's already rich, uh, you know, even though his net worth dropped by a lot, 400 to 500 million is still a lot of money. And I think there's a certain threshold that you can cross that any amount of money past that means no effect on your life and your day-to-day -day activities because you can still get any car, any house, anything, right? He already has a family. He can travel the world if he wants to. And people will most likely consider him in their top 10 to top 15 greatest artist slash rapper of all time for as long as he lives, right? So you could say that he needs to prove himself for the comeback, but I would argue against that as well because he's number 19 for monthly listeners on Spotify. So he clearly still has fans and people listening to him right now. And I get that a little bit of that is from the hype from his upcoming albums. But even then, all his fans hold him to a high regard and he has a lot of fans. So that's the point I'm trying to make. And he's already proven himself in the past with MBDTF in 2010. Um, so no need to do it again if he knows that he made one of his best albums and arguably uh, the greatest album of all time, like top 15 to 20, I think, on oh, tripping. Um, at his worst stage when he was under heavy criticism from a lot of people because of the Taylor Swift VMA thingy. I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. So, yeah. The other point you could say is just how, as an artist, uh, someone should be creative enough to talk about anything other than just, like, nothing. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe having, like, pointed out, like, how older rappers can still have bars in their own songs today. Like Nas, uh, Lil Wayne, I think, and maybe Eminem. Um, I honestly don't have a rebuttal to that. Kanye is my favorite artist, but I've never seen him as a lyrical musician after a certain point, but he can write too. <laughs> but yeah, after that, I just stopped looking at him for lyricism and bars and more so other aspects of a song and his artistry that just interests me more. And he just has that like factor that you can he can make a song sound good and hard without having the best bars and the song will eventually grow on you as time goes on yeah so now let's talk about the song i felt kind of weak again the bars were kind of weak from kanye as well but they were kind of hard in my opinion um uh, bump j's verse was literally sleepy uh, i was watching this video by npr podcast on youtube and they literally said the song may, it may have been produced by nyquil because it was very sleepy and yeah that, that's just facts um and kind of forgettable from his verse and Lil Durk and Ty Dolla Sign definitely carried the song um I think the mixing or the production or whatever else was kind of all right to me it didn't sound too bad and I mean the beat was meh it was all right I kind of liked it but like you know there's definitely better than Kanye uh, that Kanye has made before in the past and yeah like I said Kanye just has that thing where he makes songs grow on you so yeah anyway that would have been the end of this review leave a comment down below what you thought about the track and um yeah i'll see you next time peace